high prayers for a police officer who was fighting for his life just a few hours ago. People offered their support to the man who was shot protecting their community. 41 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey attended the service tonight. He joins us now live from the hospital. Tom. Yeah, that's right, Mike and Rianne. And Officer Thomas Wagstaff is recovering tonight at the Center Point Medical Center that you see behind me as many people keep him in their thoughts and prayers. One event tonight even gave out blue ribbon like the stuff you see me holding here so people can honor him. Amazing grace. Just one day after a shooting left an Independence police officer critically injured, neighbors gathered to show support. Like me. For us as a community, we definitely need to uh, come together. Russell Ramos, a private security guard and Marine, helped lead part of a prayer service at New Hope Baptist Church. He kept thoughts of Officer Thomas Wagstaff's family close to his heart. Just thinking about his wife and his kids, and I can't even imagine what they're going through. I can't. With blue ribbons decorating the church and prayers for the Independence Police Department, neighbors wanted to show they care. Just heartbreaking and just so sad and undeserving. It's just, he didn't deserve that. The event happening just hours after Pastor Darren Tharp met with Wagstaff's family at the hospital. The family, of course, is just obviously weeping and, and deep concern and care and, and grief. I was with Wagstaff still fighting for his life, Russell Ramos won't stop hoping for his recovery. I just, I just want him and his family and uh, all those officers out there to know that, that we're behind them. Pray in Jesus' sweet and precious name. And all God's people said. Investigators say Wagstaff suffered a severe head wound in yesterday's shooting and underwent an hours long surgery. Tonight, he remains in critical condition. Live in Independence, I'm Tom Dempsey, 41 Action News.